A once-in-a-generation winter storm is keeping Americans indoors. And a local sports reporter in Iowa is keeping it real after being forced to go outdoors. Mark, how are you feeling out there? Uh, again, uh, the same way I felt about eight minutes ago when you asked me that same question, right? I normally do sports. Uh, everything is canceled here for the next couple of days. So what better time to ask the sports guy to come in about five hours normally uh, earlier than he would normally wake up, go stand out in the wind and the snow and the cold and tell other people not to do the same. I didn't even realize that there was a 3.30 also in the morning uh, until today. Can I go back? To my regular job, I, I'm pretty sure, Ryan, that you guys added an extra hour to this show just because somebody likes torturing me. That clip of CNN affiliate KWWL reporter Mark Woodley is going viral, and Mark is with us now for my favorite segment of the day. Mark, uh, I spent almost a decade in local news doing exactly what you were just forced to do, and. I can't tell you how many times I wanted to say what you did, but didn't have the guts to. So I have to know, were you planning to say this ahead of time or did it all just come out live? I, I think that's just a bit of who I am. I, I, you know, on air, I love to give my coworkers grief. I think the fact that I didn't find out until the day before that I was working the morning show. I knew I was going to do weather on Thursday, but I, I got called in the afternoon and found out it was in the morning show. And I normally do the 10 o'clock show, get off work about 11 o'clock and go to bed. I didn't work on Wednesday, but I still didn't have that time to adjust my sleep schedule. So I don't think I <laughs> fell asleep till about 11 o'clock. And I was running on about three hours of sleep at that time. So I think some of the things maybe... I wouldn't have said I slept for eight hours, but you know, it, it is what it is. We cover these things every single year. It, it's all the same. And I think sometimes viewers might tune it out. And I thought maybe if I bring a little attitude it, attitude to it, people will pay attention because it, it is a serious storm. I, I took it very seriously. You're seeing 90 seconds out of probably 15 to 20 minutes of, of my live hits over the time. And the rest was serious, oh, sure. making sure people you know, know, know what they need to do be, to be safe. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of who I am. And thankfully, the bosses are, at least right now, they're on board with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you had fun with it. You've gone viral. You now have tons of fans. But I have to know, how did your, your managers and your news directors feel about it? Did you, did you get in trouble? Y you know, I, I, I had some concerns about that. Um, because, like I said, the actual segments, they didn't come off like that. But when you splice it all together, you know, it's, it's like a movie trailer for a bad comedy film. All the funny parts are in the trailer. The funny parts were the stuff that you didn't see. So nobody thought about it when we were done with the morning show. And then I, I cut that stuff up together and I wasn't planning on putting it on Twitter. It was my sister-in-law who... who uh, said you got to tweet this i just put it on facebook just for my friends and family to kind of laugh at so i put it on twitter thinking 20 30 people are going to see this and the managers aren't going to care because it's not going to go anywhere <laughs> and within hours i'm getting these text messages like dude you're going viral judd apatow retweeted you rex trapman retweeted you david cross david cross is one of my favorite it was insane rich eisen and at this point 90 percent of me is kind of giddy about it the other 10 percent is like Am I going to get in trouble for this? Because <laughs> I sort of, in my own way, call out the station. I mean, for me, it was in good fun. Was there some truth to it? Oh, absolutely. I think every every reporter who's done this has wanted to say that. And I was just tired enough to actually let it come out. I'm one of them. Uh, so any chance you're going to switch from sports to weather? There have been so many comments like, he's got to be the new weather guy, blizzard coverage from now on. That is my absolute nightmare. I, I mean, you know, we're, we're a bit shorthanded like every newsroom is in the country right now. That's why I was in the situation in the first place. In fact, my GM came out and actually shot some of those later live shots in that morning show. But so I'm a team player. If I'm asked, sure, I'll do it. But this that would be my absolute nightmare. So I hope to God they do not ask me to ever do that again. <laughs> Well, Mark Woodley, a sports reporter who is not going to turn into a weather reporter, no matter, or a meteorologist, no matter how much uh, many of us would like to. And can I just say, Mark, you are now a personal uh, legend and hero to myself, but to probably 
all the local news uh, reporters, current and former, all across this country for saying what we've all thought so many times. Thanks so much. And uh, can I just say, I wish, I wish you'd been outside for this. I mean, you look way too comfortable in there. I feel way too comfortable. Actually, I feel really good right now. I don't think it's actually, I, I believe, worse today than it was yesterday out there. The wind is so bad. So, no, no. But thank you so much for having me on and happy good. holidays. All right. Happy holidays to you, too.